So here we are with siege mission number three. It's going to be testing the defenses. Um, where 1,000 points of chaos are going to go in and attempt to break down the gate of a small fortress. Now in the chaos side, looks like he's going to be bringing in a unit of marauders with a battering ram, proxied as a pencil, a unit of chaos warriors with a battering ram, another unit of chaos warriors led by a wizard with a battering ram, another unit of warriors with a battering ram, a unit of warriors with a battering ram, and a unit of marauders with a battering ram. I'm seeing a theme here. So for my defenders, leading my defenders will be a dwarf thane. He's got the rune of stone, giving him a nice two plus armor save. I also gave his hammer the armor piercing and rune of flight, so it can work as a ranged attack. He is joined up with a squad of ten thunderers. He'll be manning the front wall. They'll also be manning the boiling oil. I've got a unit of 10 quarrelers with great weapons manning one tower. And the other tower is manned by five rangers with great weapons and crossbows. And that was my total 500 points. So uh, should be in a fun game. Off to the first turn. Prior to first turn, let's look over the table a little bit. Not much terrain. Uh, we have a small farm on one corner, massive chaos horde, a few huts on the other side, and the castle. So pretty open, good line of sight, but also nothing to slow his movement down. So dwarves got to go first, and uh, all three units fired all their shots into that unit of warriors, killing only two. So it's now time for chaos turn. Chaos movement phase wasn't too exciting. He moved everything up as much as it could towards the wall. And the gap is closing. Now on the magic phase. So the uh, level 4 Chaos Lord cast Firestorm at my uh, archers, the quarters here. Had a miscast. The spell went off and then scattered over here, not hurting anyone. And uh, then he lost two magic levels and lost his firestorm and burning hand you said mm -hmm. all right so one good thing went my way now on to dwarf's turn dwarf shooting phase 10 thunderers fired into the unit with the battering ram managed to kill off three so he has six guys left the minimum to be able to use the battering ram my rangers here fired into the, the uh, marauders and killed two and my quarrelers here fired into this general's unit and managed to kill one warrior. So off to the chaos turn two. Another quick and predictable movement for the chaos. They just ran as close as they could to that wall. They're getting extremely close now. I may have one more turn of shooting before the fun starts. Now off to the magic phase. So the sorcerer lord casts uh, bolts of searing on my uh, quarters and missed due to the walls. The minus two to hit for hard cover, and then he tried to cast flame cage and I dispelled it. So on to dwarf. Well, there's not going to be a dwarf movement phase. I'm going to go straight to dwarf shooting. So all three units fired into that unit of warriors with the wizard and the battering ram. I managed to only kill two warriors. My friend managed to roll like four or five sixes for armor saves there. So, uh, on to the turn, and his first turn of banging on my gate. So the chaos banged on the gate. Um, they only got a nine, and they needed an eleven to actually hurt the the gate. So we're going to go on to the sh next shooting phase, and uh, hopefully I can knock these guys off my front door. So a dwarven shooting. I don't think I did. Did I kill anybody in this unit? I didn't, right? Nope. I managed to kill four of these guys with them, bringing them down to just strength six. And these quarrelers fired into those marauders, also bringing them down to strength six by killing four of them. That greatly reduces all of those units' battering ram hits. And uh, now it's on to the chaos turn. Oh, sorry, boiling oil poured down on these guys, killing all but two of them. So off to the next turn. 
So the old book we're doing here is kind of vague on this. So he wanted to swap one unit on the batting ram to another. So I let him just move these guys to the side. And then I made him sacrifice pretty much the entire movement phase in close combat for this other unit to wrap around and start using the battering ram, figuring it would take time to get into position. His other units here and here charge the towers just so they have something to do. They can start beating on them a little bit. These guys and these guys just move a little closer to get into position, I guess, to take over the batting ram if that unit falls. So, uh, on to Chaos Turn 4. Magic phase. He fired firebolts into these guys again, managed to hit one, but failed to wound, so now he's going to start banging on the gate. The cows are not impressed. So, both towers, he failed to do any damage, although he's trying his best, and the batting ram skipped this turn, so off to dwarf shooting turn five. So, boiling oil and hand gunners knocked this squad to two guys. And crossbow bolts took these guys wow. down to four guys. And I completely forgot to shoot with one of my ranger units, so I'm going to forget that. And it looks like these guys just broke and they're running for it. So off to chaos turn five. So turn five, um, that's the end of the mission. I managed to hold the gate, so a dwarf victory. That's one out of three so far. Uh, just a last look at the table. He still had plenty of troops, but they were starting to wear down. And uh, I actually hadn't been hurt yet, but that's mainly because of those walls were really giving me some good cover. So thank you guys for watching, and uh, watch next time for Mission 4.